the interiors for the crab and lobster are actually shot at the pub in Port Isaac called the Golden Lion. The set designers put up the sign on the exterior and our imagination does the rest. It's located on Fourth Street. And here is the balcony around to the side where the action will take place. If the public thinks they're open for business, today they're not. As we saw over at Large's restaurant, they shoot in really tight quarters. This is a sequence from earlier in the morning as the camera dolly is being wheeled into position to shoot a scene with Morwenna and Mike on that balcony. The camera operator is scoping things out and has an imaginary drink. Here are two sequences that reveal the insane amount of work that goes into a simple scene that lasts a minute or so on screen. Paul C., the director, is reviewing the shot sequences they'll be capturing. Walkthroughs are curious rituals. The actors are getting their lines down, repeating the sequence again and again, while the other members of the crew prepare. Paul is listening and prowling, looking for camera angles. We observe a conversation about where to put the camera for the reverse angle shots. Paul wants more of the bay to be in the shot. Now, in comes the director of photography, Simon Archer. He looks, contemplates, and then he points, helping the team to make the best decision. As Dr. David Leroy observes, it doesn't look like a tyrant, but that's what this complicated 16 millimeter camera is. Everything in the program has to occur in front of it. A TV program is not a stage play. Things are shot out of sequence, often utilizing a single camera to film all of the angles. And what that camera sees will end up on screen. One of the impressive features of these cameras is the way that they interface with others on the crew via Wi-Fi. There's a video feed to the sound man and to the director's monitor. To the continuity people. Everybody who needs to can see what the camera sees long before the film is processed. And then, there are lots of rehearsals. This is the sequence where Morwenna and Mike go out onto the porch. It'll be on okay, screen maybe 15 nice seconds, integrated Coming with other angles. Finally, a take. Okay, Dave. Yes. Can you? Yeah. And turn over. Four hundred and thirty-seven. Take one. Set and action. And another take. So, can you hear me? <laughs> Tell the boys to make safe. We're going to go. Turn over. Here we go, nice and quiet please. <coughs> and turn over. 437 take two. Yes. And on shot. Now the camera has been moved closer to the door to capture a reaction shot from Jess's character. This is a difficult scene. The conversation between the characters is delicate and nuanced and needs a lot of tweaking. 
After the first few takes, they go back and do some continuity work. At this point, crew members are sitting in for Jess and Felix. The camera has been moved behind Morwenna to shoot Mike's close-ups. They've had to adjust the position of the table to fit the camera in the narrow space, but on screen, you'd never know it. Toward the end of the day, they shoot the sequence where Morwenna and Mike first go over to the crab and lobster. Our videographer was elsewhere at the time, but we have some still photos. In the show, this will be a long and beautiful camera shot captured from across the bay. The entrance is off to the right where the pub sign is hanging. Of course, this is not the real entrance to the pub, but the TV audience will think it is. So, now you have some insights about how many hours it takes to film sequences that will fly by on the television screen.